Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage, although two of the items here didn't come from charity shops. Bought these bamboo flag skewers in Tesco. They were actually £1.50, but I have a plan for making some uh, styrofoam catapult launch aeroplanes. So I thought I'd buy them. This thing, light up bubble fan and wand. I bought that in the works. It's priced at £1.50, but they only cost me 75 pence. They were reduced. And I just like the look of them. Uh, I'll probably take it apart. That's a separate video, but the the wand. Oh, shouldn't have opened it that way. That's just bubble wand. But this is the bit that interested me. Don't you see the LEDs lighting up? Probably not so good in the sunlight here. But there's a generator in there, so we've got a hand-cranked generator. I think you can just about see those LEDs lighting. So that's definitely worth taking apart and having a look at. Just wipe up the stuff that I spill. And then the charity shop item. Two pound in cancer research. Needs batteries. I bought this. It's one of those wall climbers cars. The reverse of a hovercraft. Instead of blowing it sucks. Main reason I wanted it was it's got the controller. Because I bought some of these. Oh that doesn't look so good. Why is that there? Oh that's probably holding the two together. I've got a couple of these without controllers and none of my controllers talk to them. So if this one does work, that'll be great. And it might control at least one of the other ones. That looks like that's come loose a bit. Oh, we'll worry about that later. I'll get some batteries and we'll try it out. Right, batteries in it. Right, I would say that's going to need charging. Okay, so where's the charger lead? Under there. Well, we'll come back later, see if that's charged. While we're waiting for that one to charge, I've just gone and got these two out of my junk box. This one I bought quite a long time ago. Still got some charge in it. Put it in the middle position, which is ground, because it's off ground and wall. And try the controller. And nothing happens. You've got A, B, and C positions. Okay, so that one doesn't respond. But this one, which as you can see is identical, 
and is already fully charged, we'll put it in the middle position for floor. And very twitchy. That is brilliant. When I buy the infrared toys I always say that the chances of them ever working with any of the controllers I've got are very slim. That one didn't respond to any of my controllers. Well that's not quite true. It responded to one of them a bit but not properly. But now I've got a controller and I've got a working car. I'll turn that one back off again. This one's been on charge for a little while, probably not long enough, but we'll give it a try. Middle position. And it works. I wonder if it's got enough charge to go on the wall. Remember that one's not fully charged, you can hear it winding down now. Okay, so that one's given up. This is the other one that I already had. So even if the new one doesn't work, this one does. I've just noticed a slight difference between the two. Although they look identical, this one's got a square pin charger and this one has got a little, um, can't think what you call that, <laughs> plug-ended. Oh, I just noticed the LED's fallen out of that one, but not a problem. So I might have problems trying to recharge that one. The easiest thing for me to do would be to get one of those connectors, which I've got plenty of, and tuck it in there somewhere so we can just charge it separately. Because these have got nice little LiPo batteries in them. They're very lightweight. Great fun. Oh, I'm happy. A successful charity shop, gold or garbage. Double successful, because now I can control the car I already had. 